Hey everyone, it's Victoria from Polish for Pennies. So Susanna hit us up on Facebook.com slash Polish for Pennies and she wanted to know what are some of the favorite products that I have uh, and also what's my makeup routine every day. So me and Polished and Sissy Coley's here, Christy's at school. Uh, we're going to give you a full makeup tutorial on how I do my makeup every single day when I go to work and some of my favorite products. So Coley has no makeup on and she's gorgeous anyway. But we're going to start with my favorite favorite concealer which is Mineral Fusion. It's an all natural concealer and the e.l.f. dollar foundation brush. So this concealer has two colors. One it's a little bit lighter, the other one's a little bit darker and you can actually buy this concealer in Whole Foods. The reason why I use it is because I had severe acne a long time ago and this was the only product that I continue to use that doesn't irritate my skin. So what I like to do is I like to blend both colors together on the tip of the foundation brush and I'll go under the eye look up for me Cole then I go on the chin and I'll dab first but then I'll work the brush around I'll even go around the nostrils and also down the nose like this anywhere that you would usually get red is where I would put a little concealer. And also, I think it's really important to use a little bit concealer on the eyelid because it creates a base for your eyeshadow. So I'll put a little here. Step one. Very nice, Cole. Step two is, now this is makeup that if I'm going to work, I won't use too much on my face during the weekends because I like to give my skin a break because I wear a full face of makeup um, every single day. So. I use Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Makeup. Uh, the color that I'm using on Coley is Natural Beige, but you literally squirt out a little bit. It's a mousse pump, so you want to squirt out at least a um, dime size amount, and then it actually expands to the size of a quarter, so you don't have to use that much. But I'm going to use the same foundation brush and dab it in the mousse, and you can see the consistency of that. Pretty crazy. So I like to dab it in and then just dab it again on the back of my hand to get rid of the excess. And then literally, same thing. Anywhere that you're red, we're just kind of brushing it around the face, making sure that everything's nice and even. And the great thing with this is that it creates an even skin tone. So you use the concealer on places that you usually get red, maybe if you have a breakout or a blemish. And then the foundation kind of sets everything to make your entire face a, a clean, fresh, um, one color sort of, sort of look. And you notice I didn't go too heavy on the neckline or even on the sides because you don't want to look like you have a mask on. So you want to make sure that the makeup's nice and evenly blended with the brush. So the next thing that I'm going to do, one of my favorite bronzers, I got at h and M. I'm not sure if they still have it or not, but they do still yeah. have it? Okay. Their bronzing powder is awesome and it's like under $5 or something. $4.95. $4.95. Perfect. So um, I'm using an angled blush brush that I got from Miss Urban Delight. Shout out. Um, so I just swirl the bronzing brush onto the bronzing powder. And then I like to go underneath the cheekbone, underneath the jawline, and work up to the ear and then down the neck. So cheekbone, jawline, up to the ear, under the neck. You specifically want to get this point here because the bronzing powder that you put under here will create shading under the jawline so that way you look like you have more of a defined um, jaw. So then we're going to repeat the same thing under the cheekbone, under the jawline, work to the ear, under here. We're also going to add a little bit on the tip of the nose and then you're going to work your brush up the jawline to the forehead and the same thing up the jawline up to the forehead so that way you're creating these shapes here you can see there's a little bit more shading so it looks like her cheek is a little bit more a little bit more sucked in which is always nice and you don't want to go too crazy with the bronzing powder just because you don't want to look orange and depending on the color that could definitely be um, the look that you could get. I bought this NARS blush palette 
for, I think it was like $65. This was a couple years ago, but it was one of the best investments that I've ever made in my life because it has everything. If I didn't want to have such a pinky blush that day, I could do a little bit more of the coral. It has a highlighter, it has a bronzing powder, and it has one of my favorite blushes in it, which is called Sin by NARS. Now we're going to really define uh, the cheekbone specifically. So I'm going to take a deeper bronzing powder, which is the NARS, and this is Casino. You could tell that I'm like running it down to the nub. And I'm just going to accentuate the cheekbone once again. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. A little on the nose, a little on the forehead, and that's it. Sometimes bronzing powder it looks like you have dirt on your face. So we never want to have that. So we're going to blend that in, and there you go. Then I'm going to take Sin, NARS Sin blush, and I'm going to add that on the apple of the cheek. And there you go. I'm also going to take my bronzing blush or bronzing brush again and just blend everything together, making sure you get the neck. Next thing that we're going to do is the eyebrows. If you're a little uncomfortable with doing eyebrow powder or liner or gel or whatever, you got to get over it because if, um, if you're really looking for professionally done makeup that's done at home, eyebrows are a big one. So what I like to do is I'll just take the bronzing powder. Now everyone's hair color is different. So you're going to need to, you know, kind of get a color that works for you. If you have darker hair, like black hair, anything like that, you're gonna have to go a little bit dark, a very dark brown. If you have blonde hair, a very, very light brown is always good. Um, so I'm just using the bronzing powder that I used on myself, which is what I usually do. And I'm filling in with a very small, small brush. So now look at the difference. I mean, that's like, crazy yeah. okay so let's do the other one and don't get crazy with this don't feel unconfident if that's even a word or less confident about doing your eyebrows um, you just have to go for it don't put a lot on the brush don't put a lot of powder on the brush but a very light amount and then just follow the shape of the brow so I'm starting in the center and I'm working it all the way to the edge to really get a defined shape now to the eyes so I'm obsessed with these Maybelline color tattoos I um, just love them. I think the pigment's really strong. It lasts a while. It always looks really good, and it has that nice sheen to it, so that way you don't have to add the glitter or the sparkle. Like, it already has it in there. So I don't use my finger with the darker color. The color that I'm going to use right now is Bad to the Bronze with a regular eyeshadow brush, nothing complicated. And I'm just going to take this, and I did another tutorial video about this already, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to take the eyeshadow brush and lightly make circles to get some of the product on it. Then I'm going to go to the crease of the eye and just go back and forth in a half moon. I'm not taking the product from the outside to the inside, but you work that into the crease of the eye just like that. I'm going to do the same thing. Again, making circles, not too much product, and just going back and forth with the brush in the crease, just like that, okay? Then with my finger, I'm going to take the color tattoo in a different color. This is called Too Cool, and this is a pearl white, so I'm going to use my middle finger, get about that much on it, not a lot, and I'm going to take it to the center of the eyelid and work in towards the inner eye. Very lightly. And I'm going to take just a little bit more, highlight the crease. So ever so slightly on the brow bone because if you go too white on the brow bone or too highlight or too much of a highlight, it's going to look trashy. Just anyway. So same thing, going on the eyelid, working into the crease, and a little on the lid, work that through, and there you go. And good. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, eyeshadow is done. I don't really like to get crazy on the eyeshadow. If I wanted to accentuate that deeper color a little bit more, 
get your bronzing powder again, use your eyeshadow brush, and then go into the crease again. And it sort of deepens that color even more. It adds another color, which is nice. Totally an optional step, but a way to get creative with your makeup, which is nice. So the next thing I'm going to do, what I'm totally obsessed with and I use it every single day, it's amazing. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I use the, cr the uh, pencil eyeliner sometimes if I wanna get inside the waterline or whatever, but usually this is my go-to. I never tend to put eyeliner on the bottom, but today it, I was feeling frisky. But this liquid eye pen, as easy as I told you in the tutorial that I did a little bit ago, I'm telling you it is just as easy. So I'm going to start from the outside and draw in. Go close to the lash line. Open coal. Boom. There you go. We're going to do the other side. There you go. Yeah, it's awesome. Pretty cool. And then that's it with the eye. Like, after that, you're done, you know? Mm -hmm. From this point on, we put a little mascara on, we put a lip color on, and then you're done. You know what I mean? It took a few products. They're all relatively inexpensive. The only thing that cost me a lot of money was that NARS uh, compact. But you can always get separate blushes or use different blushes that work well with your skin tone. However, I feel that these blushes will look good on anyone. All of these colors will look good on anyone. My favorite mascara, this is... The Mega Plush Volume Express. This is also by Maybelline. So we're just going to apply the mascara. And the cool thing with this makeup routine is that you can enhance it, darken it up as much as you want. Like if this is what you wear to work or would wear to work, but you were going out afterwards, you already have the base of your makeup done. So all you would have to do is maybe switch up your lip color and then maybe get like a, a black and go in the crease and do like a cool smoky eye. But this is like foolproof makeup routine that I'm obsessed with every day. So the last thing that we're going to do is add a lip and a go-to neutral that I love that I wear to work every day is CoverGirl in Heavenly. It's number 260. It looks like that. It's just a really pretty neutral color. I think it looks good on everyone, but I feel like it's enough for me on TV and then it's you know even good if I'm running to the store or whatever. It's like a really pretty color. How pretty yeah, is that? Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. And then finally, Rosebud Solve. If you don't have this, get it because it's awesome. Um, I get like that weird, like gross... Coley doesn't want to talk about it, but I get like that weird like line or whatever. I don't know what it, maybe I'm dehydrated or something, whatever it is. But this stuff is awesome. It is, um, it looks like that inside and it's basically like petroleum jelly, like, uh, Vaseline. So it's, you know, Vaso, Vaso right. That's gross. But it gives you a nice shine and it hydrates your lips and yeah. that's pretty much it. Like, that's it. That's what I do every day. And like I said, sometimes I'll change it up where I'll do in, in the crease color at the another color tattoo um, color is like a, a deep amethyst purple. I even put that on the blog once. Mm -hmm. I'll do that in the crease or whatever. The, the thing that I want you to get away from this video is, number one, how simple it is to get professional done makeup at home by doing it yourself. Um, but also this is your base. This is kind of like the step-by-step -step on how to apply a shadow, apply a, br a blush, apply a lip color, but you can take this to whatever level you want. Like I said, darken up the crease, maybe go over the liner again, use different colors on your eyes, use different colors on your, on the apples of your cheeks, a different lip color. So I want you to experiment with it, but this is what I do every day. It works for me every day. It's great on camera. It's great on the weekends and, and really anywhere. And as you can see with Coley, it's good on anyone, <laughs> you know? I mean, not like we got to work too hard on this one, but it, uh, it really is. It's good on everyone. So easy. yeah, very easy. And you've been learning how to do this on your own. You've been yeah, watching and, and it's been pretty, you're getting into it. Yeah. You're, you do your makeup really good, Cole. Like you're, you're going, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So just uh, keep it here for Polish for Pennies. We keep you looking, feeling, and living like a million bucks on a few shiny pennies. And um, confidence. Look at that. Hello, world. <laughs> <laughs>